Welcome back to my channel, Clara's Knitting Universe. Today's video is Christmas gift ideas for knitters. So, the first idea is marker stitches, which are great for uh, the stocking. And we really love having those when uh, we decide to knit them around, when uh, we have a special pattern, so we know where to uh, switch things up and when we're doing the round we know exactly when we finished one round and here are different sizes and different colors of marker stitches uh, which is always fun to have because we tend to lose them another very useful item to give to a knitter if they don't already own one is a tapestry needle um, it's very useful for us because when we have tails in our uh, projects, it's easy for us to actually put the yarn into the needle and then we can sew it in into place and then the tail doesn't show anymore and it makes a more um, nice looking project than just cutting the tail with a, a pair of scissors. So now, when we do have all those small objects, the tapestry needle, these marker stitches, what's very interesting to have is some kind of metal box or just any small box where we can actually store them so we don't lose them. And this is actually an old cigarette holder from my Italian grandfather. A very very fun item to have is this gauge ruler and the reason why it's very useful is when people start knitting sweaters and hats it's um, useful to know the exact gauge so we actually make the right size hat or um, sweater that we want that it's not too big or either too small it's like the precise um, size. So now I'll demonstrate how we use this ruler on the scarf that I'm actually making right now. So um, it's actually a Harry Potter inspired scarf. So it's gonna be up soon. Watch out uh, for this video that is gonna come up one day on my channel. So how we use this ruler is first you gotta make a sample of at least four by four inches and then you place um, at least three stitches from the edge of your ruler and then uh, you count uh, from that point uh, you count ten more stitches and you can put a marker when you're knitting so you know exactly where um, that 10 stitches is and then you slide the ruler to that 10th stitch and then you look at the corresponding uh, number and the number that it gives you is actually the number of stitches in uh, a sample of one inch of your um, project so now if you know that for example your project has to have a width of 5 inches well you multiply the number that it gave you by 5 and you know exactly the number of stitches you need on your needle to have a 5 inch project. Another feature from this gauge ruler is that it actually has uh, the different sizes of needles. So what's great about this is when you have some double pointed needles um, you can actually verify uh, the size of it because as you can see it's, it's written nowhere on the needle the size of the double pointed needle compared to the straight needle that I just showed you. So here's one double pointed needle and then I have uh, different sizes and now when I try it out, it's uh, if it's a 6, it, if it's a 7, and the 5 it's too tight, so it's a needle that is 6 US. So that's what's great about this. So now we actually know the size of our double pointed needles. 
and then uh, another um, gift that I actually don't own myself is uh, for people who knit a lot uh, actually this is a more expensive gift it's uh, those interchangeable circular needles instead of having all those circular needles with you they actually have a set of different sizes of needles that you can put uh, to the uh, I guess it's a cord so it makes it a round uh, a circular needle and so when you're knitting it's fun because you can actually switch up the needle for a smaller size uh, when you're about to do um, when you're changing maybe you want to change the width of your project so that's what that's what's interesting about um, that kind of gift some type of measuring tape is always useful because we always need to measure our projects another fun gift idea that you can give to the knitter you know is a cute notebook where he or she can write up the patterns he or she finds or creates and this is a bunch of patterns that I've made videos about so you can find them on my channel and then of course you cannot go wrong with books so the first one is actually a knitting stitch um, pattern uh, book where it gives you the images and next to it the instructions of uh, how to do these patterns so I find this is a must-have for every knitter uh, when you want to create something it gives you ideas of patterns that you can put um, in your project then this book is maybe more um, fun for people who either have a blog about knitting or a YouTube channel because it's stories about people uh, of how they've started knitting and how they've started the blogs and so it's it's just a little cute book and then we have knitting for dummies which I admit I've used um, when I first started knitting so it it's very a good book to give you the basis about knitting uh, fun facts about the history of knitting as well and there's a couple of patterns in there that um, you can learn so yep you can give that one as a joke or something and then this is uh, the encyclopedia of knitting and um, actually I recommend this book for uh, beginners because it's very um, it's like a all-in-one book it gives you patterns it gives you how to knit and um, there's images in it which is way more interesting that um, the knitting for dummies and then another fun gift is this actually counter clicker which I use um, to count my rows because when I use a piece of paper to count them when I finish one row sometimes I forget to write it up on my piece of paper and then I forget how many rows I've made and it's my my projects not even anymore so with this counter clicker when I finish a row I just click it and then go back to my knitting it's faster so thank you for watching my video I hope that I've given you ideas uh, of what to give to the knitter that you know and if none of these ideas um, fits in what you're looking for or you're not so sure you can always give a gift card of uh, the craft place the person goes to or if you don't have the budget to buy something you can make a needle holder which uh, it's always fun to have uh, to store the needles um, somewhere so that's it for my video 
happy holidays to all of you. This is the last video that I've made. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. That would be a great gift for me. 